towards the end of your career. How do you feel right now? What's no, going on? Not even close to my career. Um, you know, the decision might have to be in his hands, but I've gone through some surgeries that people don't come back. I feel great. I mean, my, besides my face being a little sore, I feel fine. I have no more neck problems, no more back problems. I need to get back to wrestling. I need to get back to my roots. Um, for this fight, you know, we did a lot of stand-up. We did a lot of jiu-jitsu. Um, Matt was a better man tonight. He uh, wrestled and fought a great fight. Um, you know, in the first round, I didn't pull the trigger. I hit him with some shots, and I should have continued on. Uh, taking a, a year off, that really matters. Having neck surgery, that really matters. But I'm proud of myself for even getting in here and competing against a person like Matt Hamill, how tough he is. He's 5-0. The reason why he's 5-0, and he's fought some of the best guys, and he's beat them. Um, I can't take nothing away from him at all. He was the better man tonight. But, you know, I'm going to hop on the horse, and I'm going to get back in the gym in about two weeks. And I'm going to get to a college. I'm going to start wrestling again um, because I'm healthy. And you know, um, that hunger's there, man. I, you don't know. I mean, it's, my heart hurts. My mind stays strong. But I'm going to get back, you know, no matter what. I'm going to continue on. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Does, it, does a Chuck Liddell fight still interest you? And does it interest you, Dan? It's, it's, it's Dana's hands. I don't have nothing to say about that at all. And I know he says no. Um, so I got to agree upon him. Um, I, you know, we've got to understand Liddell's a friend of mine. Um, We've had our battles back and forth, and uh, our health is what really matters the most. You know, we got kids, we're family men, um, and we got to take care of our family. And uh, Liddell, you know, like I say, um, hopefully doesn't come back. And Tito, can I ask you, uh, being around since 97, have you seen a heavyweight uh, performance like that uh, from a guy as big and then fighting someone as, uh, as big as uh, Brock was? Hell no. <laughs> Never. Ever. I mean, you seen Cain Velasquez move. I mean, he looks like a 190-pound guy moving around at 240. Um, he's the best guy in the world right now. He actually made Brock look really, really slow. And I thought Brock would, would do a lot better, and he didn't. Um, but both of those guys are the best guys in the world. Um, and that's why people bought the pay-per-view, to watch to see who the best man in the world the heavyweight is, and Cain Velasquez is that man. Can you give us your thoughts on the fight and your plans for the future? Um, you know, the thoughts on my fight, um, I was a step behind. Uh, I made a few mistakes. Um, I didn't defend the takedown, as I should have. Um, my future is get back in the gym. I need to start doing the work. As Diego Sanchez says, the proof is in the pudding, man. You don't do the work, you don't prevail. And over the last two years, I've been through a lot. I mean, like I say, if people would quit, I ain't a quitter. I ain't gonna quit. Um, I'm healthy. Uh, the back surgery I went through, the neck surgery I went through would stop many athletes, let alone human beings in general, competing in anything they do. And I'm going to continue on. Um, it sucks to lose because I let down a lot of my fans, and my fans is what it means to me. Um, let down the UFC, let down Dana. I, I want to prove better, man. I, I, it sucks having losses, but I'm a person to suck it up and continue on. That's how I, I mean, I've been in this game for 13 years, man. I still feel like I have a lot more in me. I just need to get, you know, the right training partners and, you know, wrestling. I need to get back to wrestling. That's what it is. That's it. In time, man, I'll be back for sure, 100%. Uh, being somebody who's helped Matt Hamill through his career and seeing him, you know, progress as years go on, how do you feel about his progression and where he's at right now? Let me tell you, man, that's why I picked him as the number one pick on the ultimate fighter. I saw something special in the kid. Um, you know, um, he was a better man tonight, and he's gotten better. You know, his takedowns are awesome. Um, you know, I didn't get a chance to defend him, and that was my mistakes. Uh, but he was the better man tonight, and I, you know, tip my hat to him. It just shows that that's why I picked him as number one pick. You know, I thought I could beat him, but, you know, I came up short. I didn't finish the strikes I did. Um, I, I thought I had him hurt in the first. Um, a few strikes that I did land, I thought I had him hurt, and I didn't finish, man. I, I, I didn't pull the trigger. It was my bad. And like I say, taking the time I did off um, is what contributed to it. But I fought my ass off. I was healthy. I had no excuses. Um, I came in and I, I did what I do. You know, I entertained. And that's what I did. And one person wins, one person loses. The thing that sucks is I was the guy who lost. But hey, I'll be back, man.